Welcome to MATLAB Arduino Video Tutorial 16. This video will cover visualizing force sensor data using HG Transform. We will be using a square force sensing resistor. This sensor varies its resistance depending on how much force is applied. The force sensor is connected to the Arduino with this pinout. One cable going from the resistor to 5 volt, and the other lead going to a 1K resistor that is split into the A0 pin and ground. Let's look at how to interface this sensor with the Arduino. Since the relationship between force and voltage is not linear, we will be using MATLAB's PolyFit to generate a polynomial curve fitting during the calibration process. First, we initialize mode to hold the incoming request from MATLAB. Then initialize value to hold the sensor value. Start the serial connection with the computer and do the character handshake with MATLAB. Then in the loop, if there are characters available to be read from the PC, read it, then switch. When the PC sends a capital F, read the value and print it back over serial. After programming the Arduino, let's look at how to bring that data into MATLAB. We'll need the setup serial function created in the first tutorial, the close serial function created in the second tutorial, and a modified version of the read ACC function shown here called read FSR. Then in the main file, enter the COM port the Arduino is mounted to and subsequently run setup serial. Then we set up the figure window with two text boxes and a button to close the serial port and figure window. Now we have an array of weights that we will calibrate the sensor at, and M1 is an array which will hold the values returned from the Arduino at these weights. For each of these weights, we present the user with a message saying the weight to put on the FSR, then we continue reading the weight until it is greater than the last measurement. Then we initialize the curve fitting, set up the graph, create the sphere, and add the sphere to the figure. In the while loop, we read the data from the FSR, use polyval to calculate the calibrated mass, and if that mass is greater than zero, we will calculate the force, update the readouts on the figure, move and scale the sphere, and set the translating and scaling to the sphere, then pause. When the button is pressed to close the figure, the serial connection will also be closed. Let's see what happens when this is run. It is important to note that the reading given by the FSR will not be entirely accurate, and it is important to place a small object below the weight so that the surface area of the object that is in contact with the FSR will remain the same for all readings. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.